Hey everyone, in this video I will talk about how to actually create a blog post or blog uh, in your Shopify store and obviously you would need a blog to just um, support your store even more, just uh, be more professional, help people that are actually visiting your store uh, in order to understand um, your your products or whatever it may be. It's, it's a way of marketing and at the same time it's not just that, it's not just about the SEO and uh, being more visible in Google uh, and that kind of stuff. That is obviously a good thing about starting a blog, but it also is just something that just makes you more of an authority, if you know what I mean. So you really, I really suggest that if you have an online business with Shopify that you actually go ahead and start your blog. Uh, now it does need uh, a lot of work, but trust me when I say it is actually going to pay off at the end. Uh, and then you can also use those blog posts that you have created to make sure uh, or to turn them into even more content. So you, you just you just make an infinite loop of you create content and then you create content from that content, if you know what I mean. So uh, today I'll just show you how to actually get started and how to go ahead and create your blog post. It's very simple, nothing complicated here. I'm just going to show you the basics and there's not really much to say uh, about the blog uh, side of things here. So it's not going to be complicated. Just watch till the end and hope you have um, a benefited watching experience from this video. So to get started, you go ahead and open up your Shopify dashboard. From here, you will need to click on your online store. Here is going to be all the settings and stuff, the themes, pages, and that kind of stuff. But what we need is the blog posts and here is going to be pretty much where uh, whenever you want to create a blog post, you come to this uh, section over here where you'll be able to do so. So you can just simply click on create blog post over here and this will take you to the page where you will be able to do so. So everything in here is going to be very straightforward. Uh, the title is going to be uh, make sure the title is something that is going to attract your customers, something that is SEO friendly and it's not too long yet, not too short. It should explain what it, the thing is precisely in a good way, basically. And uh, what I suggest that you do, if you just go ahead and open up your Google, type in whatever you want to uh, write a blog post about. So uh, I don't know what it is that you want to, but just search for whatever that thing is that you want to search for or create a blog post for. And then you just see the top searches and try to understand or try to, uh, I'm not going to say just copy them. Don't copy them. Just, you know, study how the titles are and how they look like and try to, uh, you know, up the level on how they are the top few searches. So this is going to be for the title. So just let's name this example blog post. Uh, so let's just name it this. So you know what I mean? Just look at the top uh, searches for what you want to write a blog post about and see what's really clicking and try to go with the same tone basically. Uh, within the content is going to be obviously everything about the blog post here, here is going to be where you write uh, and add images. And if you want to add a video, all is going to be in here. So here, here goes all of the blog post content and uh, attachments. So um, for the blog post or the content for the blog post, Again, I think the best thing is just to read or not really read, just like search uh, or go through a lot of successful blogs and see what makes what makes those blog posts successful and better than others that are not doing so well. And try to just uh, work your way around that and create good content, make it unique, make it your own with your own tone and just have a, a specific business tone, like just don't be yourself or just, you know, be special with the content that you write. And also you need to understand that with the help of AI, 
is going to be much easier. So you can just here uh, tell AI what this blog post is about, and then you can set the tone. And then obviously, if you have special in instructions, you can do it right here. And it's just going to write things for you. But what I suggest to do is suggest that you do even after you create using AI is that you take your time to edit the blog post to be your own personal tone. Uh, I don't really suggest that you just paste off of AI all of the time. Paste it off of AI, but just edit things to be uh, more more of you rather than AI. You know what I mean? So don't just blindly follow AI. Use it, but just don't 100% follow it. Here, obviously, you can just add excerpt if you want. Uh, and then here is going to be the uh, another important part. Page, t page title, like we said, is going to be the same title, but here description is going to be, I will show you in a sec. I don't know. Okay, so here is the title. This is the title, and this is going to be the description. So you want this to also highlight what this blog post is about. Don't make it too long. Just, just try to fit everything uh, in a few sentences on what this... Uh, blog post is about and what people are going to expect uh, from it and then obviously URL handle if you want to change that you can do so right here now theme you can't really change that yet but we can get into that and how you will be able to promote your products within a different template uh, later on and then obviously you can just keep it at news or if you want to create a new blog post about a specific different title you can also do that uh, this is me and if you want to add tags which are not going to help with your uh, with um, like Google searches it's just going to help people from Shopify to find your blogs easier so uh, do consider to add tags to it so like I said make sure that you add tags it's just going to help your uh, clients to find your blogs much easier uh, with tags so we, now we can just simply save it and now if we go to our website, we can adjust a few things here. But first, we can just go to navigation and go to main menu and make sure that uh, add menu item. Make sure that the blog post is going to be in here. So we can just go ahead and add blogs to it and news. If you have another one that you want to add, also make sure that you add it. But we are just going to add the news one. So just click on add uh, and we should have it over here. Now we can just save menu and we can just preview our online store for a sec. And we should find the blog post uh, or blogs here uh, under news, but we didn't publish the first one. So let's go ahead and actually do that. So we'll go back to blog posts and make sure that this is published. So we just click on it and then visibility visible and then we just update okay so uh is it visible nope hold on make sure it's visible oh okay no, never mind this is, this is not how you do it if you if you just click on it and then make sure it's visible <laughs> there you go so click on save uh now if we go back to our online store and view it we should find it under here and use and now we have the example blog post uh, but what we can do we can just work also and make it a little bit better uh, not by adding an image you can also do that let's just do that why not so let's just do that and click on save just to make things more clear but what I'm trying to do here is go to customize and then if we just go ahead and click on a uh, blog Here we should obviously the image is not fitting at well uh, at all, but you can just add an image that actually fits. But what I'm trying to do here is you can actually add a section to it, uh, where you can add a product uh, or image banner or whatever it may be, and it's just going to help you pr um, like promote. So for example, if this blog post is about a specific uh, product that you have. Uh, listed within your Shopify, you can just add image banner or uh, collection or whatever it may be, and it's just going to help you promote this 
uh, item within the same blog post and you can add more and more elements by the way uh, you can do so freely but at the end you can just go ahead and create uh, a template for it uh, and you can just save it and after you save the template which I didn't do but after you save the template uh, you can just go back to blog posts you can go here uh, just edit the blog post here where you can simply choose the template and then from there you will have a blog post with the content uh, with the pictures and also with uh, marketing for different products that you have listed so it's going to be a very very um, user-friendly thing that is going to help your business a lot so make sure that it is visible by the way and just add as many elements as you like it's up to you and then make sure the seo is good and all but remember it's not just about that it's about how it's actually going to benefit your uh, overall store so this is going to be the basics for what you need to know about blog posts within shopify i hope this video helped you and thanks for watching